I've been dealing with PTSD for over 30 years and it immediately gets triggered when you are so close to gunfire. Right now at six, this combat veteran jumped right in, helping save a New Albany police officer today. That officer is in the hospital right now, being treated for injuries after being shot by a man that police have been searching for. And it is our top story tonight at six on WHAS 11. Hello, everybody. I'm Doug Prophet. Indiana State Police say officers got a call about a woman in danger after someone fired a gun at her and then they went to check out the report. ISP says New Albany police discovered the suspect in a neighborhood near 14th and Market Streets in New Albany just after 11 this morning. That's where a chase began. The suspect shot a New Albany officer. Indiana State Police, that officer fired back, hitting the suspect. Grace McKenna has been there all afternoon and has more on the investigation and what it, uh, where it stands at this moment. Grace? Well, Doug, officers from multiple different agencies were here investigating throughout the afternoon. They just brought down the caution tape in this neighborhood within the last hour or so, and it's a pretty odd scene for what neighbors tell us is typically a quiet part of town. Indiana State Police say it started with a call of a woman being shot at Tuesday morning. New Albany Police tracked a suspect to this neighborhood near 14th and Market Streets. It's a large area to, to process, so it's going to take some time. ISP said police began a short chase before the suspect shot at them, hitting an officer. The officer then shot the man who fled to a nearby home where law enforcement found him. Gordon Treader, a veteran Navy medic, heard the shots. Immediately being an ex Navy combat medic, I immediately ran towards the scenario because I knew there was a good chance that someone would need aid. Treader says he did what he could, acting on instinct, since something like this was totally unexpected. This is typically a very quiet neighborhood. Most of the neighbors in the immediate area are really, really gentle. Just a block or two away, daycare worker Ashley Goodson heard the shots too. When it came this close, it, it was like it was it was like our home. Her own instinct, go on lockdown, protect the dozen or so kids inside this building and let their parents know they were safe. They don't come home to us, but we raise them, we teach them, we take care of them, you know, 10 to 12 hours a day. ISP said there's no danger to the public, though it will likely take them a while to gather details. I believe possibly there was witnesses besides, you know, video cameras that could have captured anything. So a lot of information to go over. It may be some time before we even realize how much information there is for us to look at. And for neighbors like Goodson and Treader, memories will likely linger. Doug, we've just learned within the last few minutes from New Albany police that that suspect has been identified as Barry Souders, charged with attempted murder, among other charges. Working to learn more information about that now, we do want to note that Indiana State Police told us earlier today that both he and the officer were believed to have non-life-threatening injuries. Live in New Albany, Grace McKenna, WHAS 11, on your side.